Oh my gosh, y'all. Do you know this whole time I was filming and my microphone wasn't even on? Oh, okay. On. Um, I was really talking to y'all and my microphone was just not even on. So I guess I'm gonna just recap it. To check get ready with me. This is my lazy girl look. I don't have time, but I have time look. Y'all, this is the look that anybody could achieve. I was gonna do a tutorial on this, but I I really just sit down and talk to y'all because y'all know I be I be chatting it up or whatever. Um what else? Wow, I was really having a whole conversation, y'all. That's the gag. Okay. I guess we'll just get like right back into it, whatever. So, I was really talking about, I was updating y'all, like, you know, well, if you're not new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe somewhere down here. You know, I will never know what side it's on. Um, somewhere down here, click that subscribe button. It's not going to bother you. It's not going to send you 500 emails. But if you do want notifications on when I upload, go ahead and click the bell button. But if not, go ahead and subscribe, sis, because it's totally free. Like, it's free 99. Like, like since it's free so <laughs> go ahead and do that but um so for y'all for those of y'all who don't know many of y'all know by now i was in europe for four months i was there for my entire fall semester of school and i went to a school called toulouse business school um i'm in i attend georgia state university my major is marketing um, if y'all want more like college stuff, just let me know. Like, I was thinking about doing like how to apply for college, like stuff like that. Um, but if y'all want like any video ideas, just let me shouldn't do a tutorial on this look. So I just decided to do like a chit chat, get ready with me with this look, and then y'all could just you know do this look whenever. I really like I really hate my eyebrows today. Y'all know I don't know if y'all know this, but I have two totally different eyebrows, and it is like. It's like the devil trying to get these things to look alike. Like, I literally be starting over. Like, I, I don't think... Like, it really pisses me off. How, like, my eyebrows are so different. Okay. Let's do this again. <laughs> let's, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Some days I have good eyebrow days. And some days, like, I just don't. Like, I don't even know what be going on half the time with me. It just be, like, a whole bunch of BS. But... So yeah, uh, oh yeah, I was letting y'all know because I get like a million questions like, oh my gosh, how was you living in Europe? Like, oh my gosh, you know, this and the other, like what, what you got going on? Like, let us know. And I was there for like a while. Like I was there in Europe for so long that like I wasn't even a tourist anymore. Like it got to the point that the tourists were really annoying me. They were just so annoying because every time I stepped out of, like, stepped out of my apartment, somebody was asking me how to get somewhere, uh, what bus to get on. Like it was just like, bruh, leave me alone. Like it got to the point where I was just like, bruh, leave me alone. Like <laughs> I would ignore people. I would tell them I didn't know how to speak English. Like I just would be like, bruh. Um, it's really where I lived at though too. Because I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of y'all saw on my Instagram um, story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And if you not are, if you are not part I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do this off camera because these eyebrows are really, like, they are stressing me out right now. They, <laughs> yeah, they really stressing me out. I'm gonna come back with my eyebrows done. Ooh! Okay, so, as you can see, y'all, my, ooh. I'm just kicking. I'm doing a lot. This new setup has me like in shambles. My face is so red. I was picking up my face while I was like doing my eyebrows. I'm so sorry. So I, I just wet my beauty blender. This thing is not that dirty. I just used it yesterday for the first time actually. Brand new one. And you know I really realized y'all. Um, I don't like the pink beauty blender. I really feel like the other colors are a lot better. Uh, yeah the pink one is like a lot tougher. It's just I don't know what it is. But the thing is thing is tough like tough tough 
So, oh yeah. So before I realized that my microphone was broke or whatever, not broke, but not on, I was telling y'all about um, basically how I felt when I was abroad with certain things. Like one of the hardest things for me was actually Thanksgiving, believe it or not. Um, I've always been like the type of person who really didn't care much about Thanksgiving. For one, I don't like most Thanksgiving food which is, I know, very odd. Like, when people meet me, they're like, yo, what the heck, you don't like Thanksgiving food? No, I really don't. Like, I hate it kind of with passion. Um, and for two, like, I'm the only child, so Thanksgiving has never been, like, a super big thing for me. Like, it's always just been, like, me and my parents or whatever, or we go over, you know, a friend's house. Um, in the past, we've always gone over... Um, Miles' house, which is my boyfriend. I'm gonna tell y'all about that too. Oh, y'all, we just we got a lot of catching up to do. Um, if you hear something that sounds like it's about to take off, it's really my computer. Like, y'all know those Mac, the MacBooks, like how they be sounding like that sometimes when I guess it's too hot. Yeah, it's my computer. So, yeah. Um, so when Thanksgiving came, you know, I, I didn't realize, like, we all know that Thanksgiving is an American holiday. Like, you grow up in school learning that. But it dawned on me that, like, duh, it's an American holiday. So, like, you know, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Europe. It's no such thing. And so, um, when a whole bunch of people are asking me, like, oh my gosh, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Like, all my friends, like, even people are asking me, like, are you coming back? And I'm like, no, I'm not coming back for Thanksgiving and then flying out. Like, first of all, that's a 12-hour flight. <laughs> Second of all, flying to Europe is very expensive. I don't, people don't realize. Like, flying within Europe is okay. But flying to Europe, literally the worst thing ever. So expensive. So when Thanksgiving came or whatever, I literally started crying. Like I saw everyone's like Snapchat, like their Instagram, like everybody was basically posting like their nasty plates or whatever. And I was like in Barcelona with people who don't season their food correctly, you know. <laughs> I was in Barcelona with people that don't even season their food, they chicken like that. Be having chicken with no seasoning. And I was really just, I was sad. I was very sad. And so, that was something that was hard for me. Um, things I liked about being there, y'all, I love not having to drive. Like, I feel like not driving really takes, I don't know, 50 million tons of stress away from your life. Um, public transportation there is, is like phenomenal it takes you everywhere you need to go it takes you to the sticks it takes you to the city like you can go anywhere you want to go with the public transportation there i love it um so basically what i'm doing now is contouring my face with a kat von d concealer i need to get some more concealer this thing me and kat von d have been surviving all throughout europe like this is my girl she's she's been with me for a while now so I'm just going to go through that and I'm going to contour my face how I usually do since I'm teaching y'all how to do this look and talking to y'all. Um, another thing. What about Europe? I always get a lot of questions. Oh, what things I like. <sighs> Honestly, the thing that I learned the most, the most about being there is to really appreciate what you have at home. Um, I really learned about their society and how their society is so different than ours. And... I always tell people like it's one thing to learn about it but it's another thing to like live in it and and see like the side effects of everything you know it was just it was totally different it was way out of my comfort zone something way different than what I'm used to and I feel like ever since I did that ever since I was able to live over there for that long with people who are not like me at all I feel like I could go anywhere now like <laughs> I can do anything I want to do now. So, yeah, I most definitely want to travel the world. It really made me appreciate, like, traveling more. Like, beforehand, I mean, I've always wanted to go to Paris because I don't know if y'all, a lot of y'all know my room is actually um, Paris-themed. And now when I look at, like, my Paris stuff in my room, I'm just like, I don't even look at it the same. I'm just kind of like, y'all got a lot going on. Y'all got too much going on for me. <laughs> like... I don't I felt like I kind of fantasized Paris as like the most perfect thing you know 
and it was kind of like subconsciously like I didn't even mean to do it like I just you know my room's Paris staying I've always wanted to go to Paris I think of Paris I think of fashion and and beautiful you know stuff and nice cuisine and you know all this stuff but now when I think of Paris I think of riots fire SWAT team the feds stabbings bombings like I <laughs> I don't, I don't think of Paris the same. So now I'm kind of looking at my room like, mm, I think it's time for a, like a room flip. <laughs> I think it's time for a room flip. Yep, yeah, it's about that time. So I'm just setting it with the Laura Mercier powder. I have very oily skin. So I set like where my skin is the most oiliest, which is like usually above my eyebrows. Like it gets very oily there. Um, and just every place that I've contoured at. So yeah, I just, I kind of want to redo my room, but I mean, I know, I don't think I'm going to be here for that long. Like, I didn't have room in my dorm like that. Y'all know when I was at school, um, I would not really post videos like how I was supposed to. But when I was in Europe and I was away from y'all for so long, like that was my goal. Like I wanted to get back and my first thing was like, get my YouTube channel back. Because honestly, I've been doing YouTube for so long and for as long as I've been doing YouTube, I should have way more subscribers and views than I do. And I'm not saying that like I'm doing bad. I'm just saying that I've taken so many breaks and I've been so inconsistent to where like I was just like, yo, why am I even like why am I even doing this? Like I thought about quitting YouTube and that's when I made that one video letting y'all guys like letting y'all know like dang I was really thinking about quitting at one point. Like it really I was just like yo I feel like I'm not doing as well as I need to do. Okay so this is part of my looks. I'm just really contouring my face. The bulk of this look is really contouring your face because y'all gonna see this eyeshadow look is gonna be super, super, super simple. But this look turns out so cute. It's like my go. Ooh, I'm kicking my camera. It's like my go to look. Like, this is the look that, like, my everyday look. Um, I have two everyday looks. I have one look with lashes that I'm about to do, and then I have another look without lashes where, it's just, like, Imani is just super, super, super lazy. But this is my lazy girl look. Uh, this is the look I throw on when Bae's like, look, you gotta be ready in like 30 minutes. <laughs> So, yeah, it usually goes a lot quicker, but I'm talking to y'all. And another thing, we're going to talk about my boyfriend. So, y'all who've been following me, y'all remember when I uploaded um, my boyfriend tag? So, we're going we're gonna to wipe off this powder. I uploaded my boyfriend tag. This was, like, years ago. Um, and I had a boyfriend, like, in high school. I had a vlog with him. I've had a boyfriend tag, like... So really, this is nobody new. This is my ex-boyfriend. That's my boyfriend again. <laughs> Y'all, my... I don't know when my camera stopped recording, but... I... <sighs> this has been um, a hell of a day today. Okay, so with this look, after you contour your face, you are going to take this... Ja well, you don't have to take this. But I'm taking my Jaclyn Hills, the first palette. Um, like I said, this look, like the contour makes the face... Okay, like it looks like you had time today, sis, but you didn't really have time. This is like a under 30 minutes. You can get ready, do this look, everyday look, whatever, okay? We're only going to use two colors and two brushes. That's it. That's it. Okay. So, I don't know where my camera cut off again. Like, I've just been having a lot of technical difficulties today, so I hope it's not trash. But I was basically telling y'all how... Miles asked me back out after his, you know, behavior. We've been through a lot, but that's my baby. I love him. My ex-boyfriends, my my next boyfriend, okay? <laughs> so yeah, we are actually back together and he will be making an appearance. And we're gonna be doing the boyfriend does my makeup challenge um sometime soon. So stay tuned for that. I don't know. Yeah, so and I've done a channel revamp. Like, y'all, I spent hundreds of dollars. Like, I just bought a microphone. I bought a background. I bought a background holder. Like, I'm legit now. I am legit. So, y'all need to tell y'all friends to subscribe to my channel. Because this was not cheap. <laughs> and even though you might be like, yo, she's lying. This background looked the same color as her damn wall. It do. I'm mad because it didn't look like this on a website. It really did. It looked like a coral on a website. I opened this, turned the camera on, and it's literally the same color as my wall. So yeah, I gotta order another one. 
All right, so basically for this look, you're going to just take like a neutral color, like not everyone's my skin tone. So you're gonna take a color that kind of looks like your skin tone, but like a shade, maybe like a shade darker, just so like it doesn't blend in with your skin, if you know what I mean. So for me, if you have this palette, go ahead, take this palette out, and we're gonna be using like these two, these two holes right here, like doo -doo 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 -doo. We go, like I literally use these two because this one is light this one's too dark to use by itself so i kind of like mix the two i freaking love it y'all two colors easiest look anybody can do this look so listen closely you're gonna hold the brush at the end of the tip and you're gonna go back and forth in a wiping motion this is so easy y'all this is like my favorite look i've been doing this look forever okay when I ain't got no time. So you're just basically going to go back and forth. You're going to get that color all on the lid. Like nothing's perfect. We don't really care. Because like I said, we kind of using something natural. Uh, something to kind of match our skin, but a little darker. So it don't matter. Just put it on the lid, girl. Blend it out. Make sure you're holding the end of that brush. Because you want it to be blended. Um, the closer you hold the brush, the more control you have over it. So we want to just lightly, lightly hold this thing and blend out. So yeah, back to talking about mouse. I don't know where to come at, but I hope y'all got that because I'm not going to be repeating myself. Because, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I am so excited to tell y'all. I don't know if I want to tell y'all yet. Mm. Okay, no, I'm not going to tell y'all yet. I'm not going to tell y'all. But... Please keep an eye out. Please watch my videos. Please follow me on social media because you won't regret it. Um, at all. Okay, okay, okay. What else has been going on in my life? Um, I really noticed when people say they miss you and you don't hear for them when you're back in the country, like, kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Like, when you leave and people be like, oh my gosh, I miss you so much, but you didn't hear from them, at, like, at all sis they didn't really miss you like and i kind of am going through this with some of my like my friends i'm kind of like canceling them out because i'm like okay i was gone for four months and did not hear from you once like some people i heard from only when they wanted something and that's just like crazy you know who <sighs> child 2019 we are not playing games okay my birthday's tomorrow i am getting booked book okay so after this y'all i'm telling y'all this is so easy we about to be done with this look after this you're gonna take a smaller blending brush it doesn't matter what i'm gonna let y'all know what i'm using i'm using the morphe m518 brush this is what it looks like, like i already got the color on it because i told y'all this is my go-to look um <laughs> and i'm going to take you you don't have to have this palette like i'm gonna keep saying that because i used to watch makeup videos and be like oh my gosh i think like i need the palette to get this look um I'm going to be taking Roxanne, and that is like a, oh no, I lied, not Roxanne, butter. We're going to take butter. It's this one right here. It's kind of like reddish oranges. Um, if you have the Modern Rena Renaissance palette, I also use this one. Like, I take this one everywhere I go, y'all. This She been through some things. She been through some things. But if you have the Modern Renaissance palette, definitely go ahead. You can mix burnt orange and red okra. Look, burnt orange right here. <laughs> and red okra. Like, I mix those two. Those work like a charm. Um, anything that's kind of, like, rustic, go ahead and use it. Let's do it. Ah! <gasps> My day. My day has been crazy. And we're going to make small circles. So, like I said, hold the brush at the end, and we're going to make small circles kind of like in our crease area. For this one, you're not going to close your eye. Keep your eyes open because you want to make sure that you get your crease. So, just look straight, and small. Um, we're going to do circles. Circle. 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 Like, ain't no thing. Circle. <laughs> Because you want more control over this color. Like, you don't want this color to go exactly everywhere, but you want it to go in certain areas. So, yeah, we're basically just going to blend that out. And that's the only... These are the only two colors we're using, period. Like, that's it, sis. <laughs> we, got, we ain't got time, but we got time. So, blend this out. Do Make sure you're doing circles. Like, circle, 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 circle. And make sure, like, you're getting in your crease. Because this is the look, sis. They don't know. They do not know. This is it. Look. Look. Look at that. 
We done with the eyes, sis. What'd I say? Two, two, two brushes. That's it. That's all we need. Go ahead, put your palette up. After that, we are gonna pop on some lashes. We gonna, look. I told you just my lazy girl look. So you gonna take any eyeliner. Like a pencil eyeliner, mechanical pencil eyeliner. You're gonna take any of that. Y'all know my favorite eyeliner is the Coco Ch the Chanel eyeliner in black. So yeah, take it and do your waterline. Ain't no thing. That ain't no problem. So yeah. Y'all don't understand, I'm so happy to be going into senior year. I graduate I graduate this year. 2019 is my year. I graduate college. I'm going right back to college. But I graduated my bachelor's degree. <laughs> um, so I'm just so happy. Like I got two semesters left. I'm pretty sad because all of my friends, y'all, we just get online this line. It ain't even got to be perfect. You see how I just line my line? So we're doing that, and we're just going to pop on some lashes after this. So yeah, all of my friends are actually graduating in May, and, you know, I was very sad um, when I knew that I was graduating fall, like, and it's, it's finally hitting me that, like, most of my sisters and all of my friends are not going to be there, you know. They're going to be gone. I'm still going to be in school for a whole other semester. And it's just, like, it's just kind of taking me back. Like, I'm kind of sad. But at the same time, once New Year's hit, I was like, yo, 2019, like, I'm graduating, yo. This is crazy. This Mary Kay mascara been doing something because I usually used to use the Chanel mascara. And I realized that this Mary Kay mascara was better than the Chanel mascara. And I'm just like, yo, that's out of control. So you really just gonna put this mascara on because a lot of times, um, like your foundation and your eyeshadow gets on your lashes. And so you don't wanna put on your fake lashes and people could like really see your real lashes. It's looking like brown, red, green, like whatever color eyeshadow you got on. So that's really why I um, put on mascara most of the time because I'm always like a lash person Look y'all in 2019 we getting rid of these back alley lash extension artists, okay? Everybody named mama trying to be a lash tech and it's just like sis I know y'all trying to do this get rich quick thing to live y'all Instagram lifestyles or whatever But we not doing these lashes all all 2019 we we not doing this, okay? We just gonna stick to strip lashes. That's it. That's it, period. That's it. Only strip lashes. We're not doing all this. So, I'm using my Ardell Black. I'm using... And I know y'all asked, like, yo, are y'all... Are you still doing your lash company? Like, I've had so much stuff that I really can't talk about going on that y'all wouldn't believe. I might talk about it later on after I launch, but y'all wouldn't believe the foolery. <laughs> the foolery <laughs> that goes on. And the reason why this has been taking so long for lashes, when people start businesses, two seconds, you know? So while we're doing this, you always want to spray your face before you put on your lashes. I just do because I don't like my lashes getting wet or you don't want to loosen up the glue or whatever, whatnot. Like, you just want to make sure, like, you spray and set your face. Set it, girl. Um, so I set my face with a new all-liner pollution protection. These nasty cars and global warning sis, you need the pollution protection. So, go ahead. I shake mine. You don't really have to. Oh, just spray. It's so refreshing. I love it. We do that, and then I also do the Fix Plus. Oldie but goodie, okay? Nobody can imitate this stuff. Um, if you're being che cheap, sis, go ahead and just get the Fix Plus, because ain't nothing. Ain't nothing going to do better than this Fix Plus. So yeah, I do Fix Plus, I do pollution protection, and I um, usually have something to fan my face over here, like a flyer or whatever. I finished the freaking surviving R. Kelly thing. Ooh, child. Child. It really, honestly, watching the documentary made me so upset. It, it really really it really like excuse my language it really pissed me off like i ain't never watched no doctor series like that to piss me off usually i get pissed off like watching like roots or something you know but watching that 
to where this, like, I was like, how did this man get away with all of this? How? Like, how we, we let somebody, like, get just get away with all of this? And I, I, loss of words. Loss of words. Like, y'all should have knew this man had a problem when he was hanging out at the high school. Like, y'all knew this man was hanging out at the high school. Yeah, R. Kelly, he always hanging out at the high school when he 30. Hanging out at the high school. What? Y'all, I... <sighs> we gotta do better. We really gotta do better. And the fact that, like, Jay-Z and a whole bunch of people, like, declining to speak out against it, but in a heartbeat, they want to speak about, oh, the Super Bowl, oh, don't play for the Super Bowl, don't do this, we don't need the Super Bowl. But it's like, there's girls out here being sex slaves, being abused and stuff being held against their will, trying to escape this man. And y'all don't want to speak out against that. But y'all got so much stuff to say about this Super Bowl. Like, it really, it makes me so mad, y'all. It makes me so mad. Oh my gosh. If you have not seen the Surviving R. Kelly docuseries, y'all need to see that because it's crazy. It's, it's really, it's just crazy. It had my mouth open. I was just like, the fact that some of these parents haven't even seen their kids, haven't even seen their daughters, it's, it blows my mind. Whew. I'm basically going to go in with the NYX um, pick, uh, pencil and espresso. Y'all know this is my favorite pencil. This is the dupe for the MAC chestnut. But, yeah, I finished washing it with Miles yesterday because originally Miles washed it without me. I was mad, so he washed it again uh, with me. And, ciao. The fact that Aaliyah's mom was like, no, my daughter was not sleeping with him. Y'all are lying. And I'm just like, sis, you're just saying this to cover up your own self. You know, no one's trying to tarnish Aaliyah's legacy or whatnot. She's like, y'all are trying to tarnish my daughter's legacy. But it's just like, sis, you expect me to believe your 15-year-old daughter married this man but wasn't sleeping with him? So you say everybody in a docuseries just lying. R. Kelly saying, he says some of the girls are lying. He says some, some of the girls are lying. Child, I cannot. I like I can <sighs> This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in sepia. I like he says some of the women are lying. When they took that that one woman in the house, like and her body, like the girl, she was sweating when his old house and she was like describing what was happening in the house. She was sweating. She was shaking. Like you could tell something had happened in that house. The stuff that she was talking about. I was just like, how does somebody lie about that? Like that just, it really hit home. Like it really, when I saw when she went to the, the Atlanta house that he lived in before he got kicked out and how like they were being kept there. And they took her back to the house and I saw how she was like sweating, shaking and stuff. I was just like, oh my gosh, like Lord have mercy. This is out of control. I'm surprised nobody killed the man. Because the wife, oh child, that could not have been me. He beat her because the milk was too cold. Oh, there would have been no R. Kelly that day. I <laughs> he beat her because the milk was too cold. And we got people out here talking about some. Well, I mean, that doesn't make him. He's still a good musical artist. What? He's still a good musical artist, but child, y'all are just sick. Sick. So basically, I'm taking my edges out right now. Uh, God foundation all on these but it's okay uh, taking my edges out this is the four bundles of 28 inch true glory hair that i was telling y'all about last video 
Um, uh, honey, the review will be up on this hair because I got some things to share. I got some things to tell y'all that y'all not gonna believe. So we're gonna put this wig on. I'm mad because I think I really made this wig too small. This thing be hurting my head. Oh, <laughs> okay. <sighs> I look like Teresa from Housewives in New Jersey, bruh. <laughs> Since though she had no forehead, no forehead whatsoever. Okay, hold on. 